Long lines today at NRG as these Harris County voters become some of the first to cast their ballots. After Governor Abbott's announcement last week, this is the only place in the county voters can drop off their mail-in ballots in person. Janelle Baluda has what you should know if you plan to do the same. This year, the Harris County Clerk's Office is anticipating a record number of mail-in ballots. So far, they've mailed out 228,000 ballots with more to follow, and already they've received 1,600 back. A fourth of them dropped off in person at NRG. Once you send in your vote by mail application, you can track its progress on the clerk's website as well as the latest on your ballot. This is what your ballot will look like when it comes in the mail. Once you get it, take your time to fill it out. You Use only blue or black ink and write clearly. The clerk's office says these are the biggest mistakes voters make on mail-in ballots. The signature on their ballot does not match the one on their application. They didn't sign inside the red box on the back of the official envelope or they did not return their statement of residency form. Once you're certain you've completed your ballot correctly, return it as soon as possible. And you have two ways to turn it in. Either send it back by mail using two standard stamps or drop it off in person. In Harris County, you can only do that at NRG Park by entering through Gate 9 off Kirby Drive. This week, those hours are from 8 a.m. until 4.30 p.m., but starting next Tuesday, you can drop it off every day during early voting, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Remember, there are rules. Only you can drop off your own ballot, and you must show your ID and give your signature. If you're not voting by mail, early voting starts in just one week. In Houston, Janabuda, KHOU 11 News.